Well, I've been out here street preaching for a little bit. Got some pro homosexual people coming up. Teach them. So look at Romans chapter 1 here. It says, For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use of that which is against nature. Likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. Even, even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, and goes on and on. But that's Romans chapter 1, and also in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 9 through 11, it talks about it too. So, so Romans and Corinthians? Yeah. But doesn't fornication mean heterosexual fornication sure. as well? Sure, yeah, people having sex outside of marriage is a sin, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people living Wait, in sin. Well, what's this little gold gem right here? Islam. Islam? Yeah, yeah. The Bible says that, you know, that Jesus died for us on the cross. Wow. And Islam teaches that he didn't die on the cross. I mean, so, Islam does not teach that. It 